Hi, man, Armstrong, and welcome to the back office teardown lab. You might recognize this. This is the item that's been on the news recently um, as part of the COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak uh, media because this is the part that their company in Italy, I believe, have um, devised for uh, the ventilation, the respirators, ventilator uh, machines that they're using. And apparently this part was uh, is a service, you know, replaceable part like most parts of medical equipment. So it's a used once part, comes out of a sealed bag, uh, gets used for a patient and binned after a while or when they're done. Um, they tend not to want to reuse things in in medicine, of course, because uh, you don't want people to catch diseases or get any issues from them. So this was a part that was made. I don't think I think they reverse engineered the actual part, and there was some something on the news saying that the replacement part cost ten thousand pounds. Yeah, I've read other things saying, well, it's actually more like eight euros. Uh, so the machine itself is 16,000 euros. So who knows? I don't know. Either way, uh, the hospitals needed these parts and then uh, companies started 3D printing them. So I've 3D printed this in normal mode, which is 0 0.15 millimeters per, per layer. So it's not a fine print. A fine print would take two hours. This took just over one hour. Um, and I just printed it because I wanted to see how it how it went together really and what it looks like. Um, I downloaded the model from Thingiverse. I heard that the model would not be made available but clearly someone's made it available at least for now. Um, so uh, I grabbed it while I could and uh, it just comes as a solid model. There's no 3D CAD or anything associated with it. It's just an STL and to show you what it looks like. Now I don't know how it works exactly okay so I'm just going to draw you the construction and then maybe you might be able to tell me it's actually uh, a tube, more or less like that, and you can see it's got a port that comes off here, and this comes down there, and you can see it's got this little surround here. I'm not sure why it's got such an intricate looking part here. I think this must have been mechanical on the actual one. I thought there might be a valve or something in here, but as I say, it's Venturi, so that implies there's no real valve. Um, so I'm just gonna draw it without this bit on the edge just to show you what it's doing. It's got a flange here on the end, so imagine that. And then basically you've got butted up to it this thing here. And I've seen it, and that yeah, that's that little gap in there. You might not be able to see that unless I zoom in. Appreciate that. You can see as I turn it there's a, an air gap there. So even if you blocked all of these ports and blew into it, you'd still have gas coming out these sides so that's it can breathe from there and then if we were going to draw it you know I could draw a dotted thing to show you how that looks there so all I can assume is this is on its way to or from something um, but I kind of think how does it work as a valve is it a one-way valve or is it a direction switching valve so the idea is are you um, injecting air or oxygen one way into it and then when you breathe out it's venting to atmosphere? I kind of su suspect that could be the case. If you had an oxygen feed made to be coming in here or in here perhaps at a certain pressure and then when you blew out it would come out here. I'm, I'm not really sure. Or do you just stop the pressure? Maybe it's got a feed and it stops and blows. I would really love to know. I mean that's basically the purpose of this video. I know it's only just a few minutes long, there's not really much to add I can give you, apart from you can download this and 3D print it, um, and then maybe some people know how it uh, how it works. It's pretty tough though, by the way. Um, where I've seen pictures of these, they tend to have a little tube hanging off the end, and then a little, looks like a small drain um, valve, which where you have a piece of plastic that looks like if you squeeze it, it would uh, be like a moisture drain. So I'm thinking that's a one-way valve. So there might actually be a one-way valve on here, a piece of plastic, and then there's a bit of tube here. I think that tube could go to an oxygen feed and this could go to a mask and it could be like a higher pressure thing. I Again, just guessing, just speculating. Um, if you want one, uh, go to Thingiverse right now, type in COVID-19. I mean, literally, I just typed in COVID-19 valve. Not rocket science. And that's where I got, got that model from. Um, and then, yeah, just print one out, have a look. You never know. Maybe if you fall ill, put it in your pocket. Take it with you. Who knows? 
really who knows and then if there's ever a call for help where people actually uh, need these then you could just send them on um something i was thinking about on this too if you are making them don't huff into them because you know you could be infected and you're infecting this um i think they're going to be hard to sterilize but pla is a, a like a bio I'm not going to say biocompatible, but certainly it doesn't harm you, right? PLA is known not to harm people, so I don't think there's any problem with this. Someone was saying, ah, oh, but aren't these plastics toxic and all of that? I'm pretty sure PLA is not toxic. And if you compare that to people vaping and huffing in random junk they get off the streets when they're buying the vape juice and vapes flavours, you know, I think they'll be potentially doing themselves way more harm than sucking air through a tube made of this material. I mean, there's definitely no scent, no anything of this. And it's not a fancy one. It doesn't have fluorescent uh, inks in it. It doesn't have glitter. It's just a plain, plain filament. As ever, thank you for watching and try to stay indoors.